actually mean though. Now traditionally investors look to profits and dividends to measure the value of a company. It's a narrow criteria and some people think it's a bit lacking. Now there's an alternative yardstick. The Game Changers 500 list measures companies based on their social and environmental impact and their ability to maximize benefits beyond the bottom line. So which companies made the cut? I'm joined now by the list creator, Andrew Hewitt. Welcome to the program. So tell us just how do companies make the cut? What kind of criteria do you look at? Who's in, who's out? Sure. Well, maximizing benefit is the name of this game, not just maximizing profit. And benefit is much more subjective than measuring revenue, right? So right. it is a bit more of an in-depth process to figure out which companies are maximizing benefit the best. So we, we break it into three criteria. The first is why they're in business. Is it purpose first or profit first? What their business offers, a product or service? Is it, is it something that's helping people on the planet thrive? And then finally, how they run the business how they treat their employees, how they treat the planet, how they treat all stakeholders. Right. And, and those are really the, the core criteria that we look at. Now that's really fascinating because most businesses, you think the, the whole notion of running a business is to make money. Uh, what you're suggesting is this list is looking at companies that do something else, but they're making money at the same time, aren't they? Yeah, that's the assumption. Right. These are businesses. Profit is the lifeblood of business. And there's a way to make a profit in a responsible way. And in fact, studies are showing that in, in not just focusing on profit, but actually having a purpose, empowering your employees that way as well, leads to higher productivity and actually leads to higher performance and profits. What about here in Asia? How do Asian companies stack up in your list? So Asian companies came out about 10% of the list. And so it's one of the regions where there's, there's less representation. But there's also a paradox here, though, because uh, Nielsen did this global study and found that the Asia Pacific uh, consumers here have a higher propensity to buy or want to buy socially environmentally responsible products right. and yet we found the lowest concentration of companies out of Asia for the list so there's a huge opportunity there for right. companies huge in opportunities Asia. indeed unfortunately we've run out of time but thank you so much for that Andrew Hewitt there from Game Changers 500